What is going on everybody, it is the Chick-fil-A Cows here, bringing you guys episode 1 of Madden 16 Draft Champions. My very first time doing this, so everything you see, you're see, you seeing is me doing this for the first time, completely brand new. I decided to start out and go with Philbin because of the long pass, the zone defense. Uh, and I decided to go with Keenan Allen. I was hoping to get either a better quarterback than Romo or just use Manziel because he's mobile. And I decided to boost my receiving core. I really wanted to focus from the start on receiving core. And I almost went with Andrew Luck. I was like, ooh, 82 speed, pretty mobile, good throw stats. Or I could boost my O-line. But I was like, but I really, really want to have a pass-happy offense. And I can get that done with Manziel if I have to. So I'm just going to go ahead, pick Ted Ginn, also get a really good kick returner and punt returner in him. And you never know when that might come in handy I mean it never really seems to matter until it does when you need a big return and you got to have a guy that can come through I really wanted Julio right here I was like oh I'm gonna get him really gonna help my wide receivers but I was like oh Brock with 87 that 98 throw power I need a quarterback that can zip it in there and I really have been focusing more on my own um my offense really focusing on being a better in the pocket passer and zipping passes in without having to run out with a mobile quarterback like I normally do so I went with Brock first time trying him out I thought about using him in head to head but I didn't really want to spend 40,000 on him just yet so we'll see how he does now I'm gonna go with Freeman just because of the uh Zone defense, also middle linebacker, don't need a uh, 82 O lineman, don't need another wide receiver, and at the very minimum, we have some better middle linebacker depth, unless we don't get a better card, but hopefully we will. Now, I'm thinking here, I was like, I could get the zone defense boost, but I really think I need a right outside linebacker better. Not sure if I'm going to get another chance to improve, so we are going to go ahead and get Neil. Now, this was one of the toughest rounds, round six here. I was like, ooh, TY with that long pass, but I already got Ted Ginn for the slot. And I was like, I normally use my tight ends, but I kind of been shifting away from that a little bit with my offensive playbook. So maybe I could just use a good, solid number one wide receiver. I didn't know if I was going to get a better one, so I went with Garcon. Now here, not too tough of a decision. I didn't really want Forsett as a running back. Was hoping I could do better. Didn't need another low overall wide receiver. Needed some help with my secondary. Decided to go with Xavier Rhodes. Now, my defense is not looking that great. But like I said, from the start, I really was wanting to focus on offense. Was hoping I could just put up a lot of points and overpower teams. Now here was... Not exactly what I was wanting. I wasn't going to focus that much on the O-line, but I had to here. Wasn't going to pick that D-back, even though that would have been a decent pickup. I was like, okay, I'll go with the long pass, and we got sitting for the left guard. Again, we have a t pretty much the same decision again. O-line or D-back, sorry, Ben, don't need you. Already got Brock, so I was like, uh, you know, Denard would be really good, but, uh, well... He's a bingle, so we are going to go with Brown, get a left tackle, and suddenly my O-line's looking halfway decent, which was surprising me. I wasn't actually focused on getting my O-line uh, leveled up that much, so... Uh, moving on, round 10, and for here, I really wanted Dez, just like I wanted Julio before. DeMarco was out of the question. I was like, oh, but I do need a running back. I'm not sure I'm going to get a better one than a 92. And I was like, oh, shoot, I'll just go ahead and get Maurice Jones-Drew. Was hoping to get a fast, maybe lower overall running back. But uh, I was like, you know, I already have an okay receiving core at the moment, so we got Drew at running back. So we seem pretty set here. Now, this was a tough one. I was like, man, Jamal Charles, 92 speed, could definitely use him with a nice one-two punch. But I was like, I still want to level up my wide receiver core, so I went with Marshall. Have had some success with him in head-to-head. -head. Not a tough decision there. 93 O-lineman had to go with him. Now, this was probably the toughest decision of them all. And... Chris Lofton, Curtis Lofton, I was like, oh man, not really, but I was like, but Patrick Peterson for D-back would really like him, but I was like, my defense is going to look pretty, pretty, not, <laughs> pretty bad by the end of this, I've been focusing so much, so I'm going to go with Ryan Shazier, Steeler, and also uh, get a good user that hopefully I could get a few user picks off of, not a decision there that much, went with Richard Sherman automatically, and in round 15, we got Reggie Wayne, we got Andre Reed. have used both of them in head-to-head, -head. Reggie Wayne clearly better, obviously. And I was like, or do I want a defensive tackle that can plug up the middle? I was like, you know, I wanted to stick uh, with an offensive team. I'm going Reggie. Not that tough a decision there either. So offenses look pretty good. Got a running back, got a quarterback, got good receivers, got a decent O-line. We don't have really any tight ends, though, so that was a little disappointing. I skipped over, um, oh, I for is it is it Cook? No, the Titans guy, I forget his name right now. 
I skipped over him because I assumed that I would get another tight end later. I did not. And I'm thinking now maybe I should have picked him over Pierre Garçon. I just had no idea that I would be getting Reggie Wayne. Brandon Marshall and the other guys so but still pretty good offensive team like I said defense is a little lacking though on the bright side though we do have Ryan Shazier nice user and we got Richard Sherman another D-back and um, I'm trying to think I think that basically is about it O-line's looking pretty good receivers are great tight end like I said tight end's a little bit worrisome now the good news is we do have Keenan Allen there so 92 catch, 84 speed, 95 route running, 93 catch and traffic, all pretty decent stats. The release and run blocking is what bugs me, so I really can't rely on him to block really whatsoever. Now, moving on to defense, like I already said, we got Shazier, we got Sherman, and that's about it. So definitely, like I said from the start, going to be focusing mainly on offense here, and hopefully that will be enough to win games. I was taking a gamble here. I really was. And uh, moving on to the first game, like I said, was taking a gamble that offense would help me win a lot more than defense would. Uh, I'm not sure if I already mentioned this. Uh, I did not. If I did, I apologize. I did not know that your playbook that you use for head-to-head -head is not the same playbook that you use in Draft Champions. So I was expecting... Uh, something else but I got the spread and right there got the pick on the first play of the game I was expecting the spread um, my uh, I'm sorry I was expect expecting the Pittsburgh offense instead I got the spread but not too disappointed because the spread is still an awesome playbook but a little bit of a shock there not being able to use any of my go-to plays now on third and six Reggie gets hit and drops it I was shocked starting out zero of two for Brock I was like, this must be a fluke. No way Brock's that inaccurate. And on that throw, no way Reggie dropped that. I was like, let's go for it. Fourth and six. And terrible throw. Keenan didn't make the break. And I don't I don't know what happened there. I threw it perfectly timed. And he just didn't cut. But I guess that's what happens when you put a card that doesn't belong there. And right there, I thought I had the user. Shazier was right where he was supposed to be. Instead, he just let the ball go right by him already not looking that great but on first and 10 he's looking he's looking rolling out and we got the sack Derek Wolf bringing down I want to say Andrew Luck on that play on third and 18 though he's going verticals we got that covered knock that down get out of here and just like that fourth and 18 my bad Aaron Rodgers and he decides to kick the field goal so I was like okay maybe we can hold him to three but no we hold him to nothing that sack came up absolutely huge I was like okay we can't waste it this time Brock you got to get your head straight we need some plays we need him now rolling to the left playmaker the receiver nice throw on the run right there to Brandon Marshall and breaking that tackle it doesn't matter but like I said he made plays for me in head to head that's why I drafted him and so far looking pretty decent so third and seven got Reggie Wayne making up for his earlier drop getting the first down First and 10 here, first quarter rolling to an end, decide to run a counter. Maurice Jones drew, breaking one tackle, breaking two tackles, going all the way to the end zone, touchdown. And just like that, seven to nothing. Looking pretty good there. Nice run by Jones. And I don't know what this guy was doing. After that touchdown, he just decided to let three false starts happen in a row. I'm sorry, three delay of games in a row. That was it. So he gets kicked. We get the first win, so it doesn't really matter. So, like I said, offense there was pretty disappointing. Defense, however, came up pretty big, which was not exactly what I was expecting. But on that second drive, it seemed like we settled down a little bit and we were able to score pretty easily. So that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Eat more chicken, and I will see you guys all next time.